is more important than knowledge. And then Sayyidina Abdullah bin Mubarak's goal, he says, Sayyidina Abdullah bin Mubarak said, Iza wasafadi, Iza wusifadi rajulun lahu ilmu al-abfadina wal if they describe to me that there is a man who has knowledge of those who lived before and who has knowledge of those who lived after, you know, he has the knowledge of all of the world. And I never met him, I don't worry about that. But if they tell me someone who has knowledge and other as well, and I fail to meet him, I always regret it. Then Sayyidina Abu Salaam Shaykh Sayyidina Abu Khadr Jinnah Radhi Allah Ta'ala says Iman is like a city and this city has that city, its Iman is like that city which has five castles or five uh, uh, fronts of defense what they call it, five uh, stages of its defense Iman has like a city, Iman is like a city, that city which has five different stages of its defense. So the first inner circle of the sense, inner circle of that city is, the, is a made of, there is one city. He says, the first castle which is protected is made of gold which is around it another defense and castle which is made around that first one to protect the first one that is second one is made of silver and the third one is made of made of hadid is iron and steel and the fourth one is made of bricks and stones and the fifth one is made of which the outer circle which is made of uh, unbaked bricks, just mud. So the outer circle is made of mud, then inner circle is made of baked uh, stones or it's called uh, uh, bricks, and then inner circle is made of steel, then inner circle is made of silver, then silver is gold. This is Iman. Iman is like that city. The inner, innermost circle is Yaqeen, to have faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Out of it is, the second one is an ikhlas, sincerity, second circle. And the third one is Adaud Fara'id, perform, performing the Farad. Ritual for the duties, and the fourth one is Atmam Sunnah, performing the Sunnah, and the last circle is manners. Observe manners in every state, and he says, if you let Shaitan to destroy the first line of defense. Then he will attack the second one. That will be destroyed. Then the enemy will attack the third one, third line of defense. That will be destroyed. Then the fourth line, then the once you've given him access, he will destroy you. And the best way to keep him out, don't let him to enter into your city of Iman. If you let him to enter the city of Iman, then he will not leave you because he's enemy. Then he will ask his spies and everything. He says, radiallahu ta'ala an, that the outer line of defense, the outermost line of defense is Ada. And it is must for everybody to observe those adab in every matter of the life, in wudu, in prayer, in bayd, in transactions. And among the adab, the first thing which he has said is to say assalamu alaikum. When you meet, say assalamu alaikum. Say hello. You should also practice hello all of the time. As Sheikh Hamza says, hello means I'm going to hell. 
and he says hi don't worry i'm coming i'm coming to join you <laughs> this is what they say and then he says this is sena bosraj and shaksh sundar pradesh rani there are many things which i would like to uh, to 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 mention inshallah tomorrow i will speak about them the teaching of sena bosraj one of them is uh, kissing the hands he says when the anaka if the both brothers are I mean the with people muslims male or female female with female and men with the male with the men they they hug each other wa qabala ahaduhuma ra'sa al-akhar or they kiss the head forehead of any one of them on the neck any one of them wa yadahu or they kiss the hands ala wajh tabarruk uh tadayyun to keep the deen to keep the deen and to show that manner and respect and tabarruk jaza this is permissible he says to stand up for the fa- father to stand up for mother to stand up for people of deen to stand people of uh, taqwa and to stand even the person who is a non muslim but leader of non muslim to stand up for him is also recommended and then he bring the hadith that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says uh, one hadith prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said qul sayyidukum the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said stand up for your chief for your for your chief of the tribe and then very interesting that these kana rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam iza dakhala ala fatima radhiyallahu anha the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to come to visit sayyida fatima to zahra qamat ilayhi she used to stand up for him wa akhadhat bi yadihi she used to hold the hand of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa qabbalat used to kiss it and then ajla 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 satu fi majlisiha and used to make him sitting at her seat and then our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam she visited the prophet wa iza dakhala ala nabi she used to visit the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam qama ilayha the prophet sallallahu used to stand for her wa akhadha bi yadiha used to grab her hand wa qabbalaha used to kiss her wa ajla saha fi mawdi'ihi and used to make her sitting at his place and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said when some of the leader of any kaum any nation any community come to you fa akrimuhu show respect and one way of showing respect is just to be uh be it, he did not mention anything about the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he says say now hurairah radhiyallahu ta'ala he used to uh, uh, trim his beard more than one fist and the sayyid abdullah bin umar that's the only thing what he has reported nothing from rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and uh, uh, and says he says shaving head shaving head other than hajj and umrah is makruh is this like and he says the reason he has given he says this is the practice of khawarij and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has condemned them so because of that he says imam ahmad bin hanbal used to condemn that person and you know see uh, interesting thing is that our brother from saudi arabia claims to be humble and imam ahmad bin hanbal says that it is makru and dislike to shave head other than hajjan sorry brother zainab and then there are there are many 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 things why why you do zul aqlu wa shurbu qaiman sayyidna musa radhiyallahu anhu shaykh radhiyallahu ta'ala an it is permissible to eat and drink standing there is no harm in that but he says wa qila yaqra wa al jalus wa hab the sitting down is 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 uh, more polite but uh, but standing is permissible and uh, he says uh, one statement which i heard from sayyid shaykh islam he says malam yakul lahu dhukr fi as-sama fi 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 al-ghina the one who does not have a taste in uh, listening good music good ghina ghina he will not have the taste of iman 
recording to that he, he himself says that is okay and uh, singing with the dove is is okay with us uh, something which is not of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sallam and uh, he has spoken about everything like uh, you know how to take bath how to sit how to react how to eat how to sleep how to wear ring how to have hair in all those things in ada and after that he says how to enter to home enter home and even when you enter home there was a sahab he brought that uh, he mentioned that ask for permission ask for permission the sahab he said ya rasul i visit my mother do i need to ask my my permission from her he said yes you have to ask for permission even from your mother the only person he says you do not need to ask permission when wife comes to uh, husband she she come to her home or husband goes to his home to wife if there is wife that if there are children then they definitely not getting the permission but making them aware that i am coming in this is what the then eating halal adab us safari was sohba how to have the company and how to have the friends how to choose friends and wa birul walidain wajibun he says to be uh, uh, to, to be respectful uh, towards parents is farq is farq to show respect to the parents is farq and then he has got many ahadees and one of them and which we are going to finish he says that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sallam said whoever will start his day if his both parents are angry with him two doors towards the hell will be open for him and if he ends his day while the parents are angry with him two doors towards the hell are open for him and if he starts day in the state that parents are happy with him then two doors towards heaven are open for him and if he ends his day while the parents are happy with him or her two doors towards the heaven are open for him and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sallam said the one he he says actually that the one who does not uh, get the permission of his father and mother uh, for the journey which is not necessary for him and he becomes separate from them and it hurts them uh, allah will curse that person as the mother and father are you know is is they love him and they don't want him to be separated until there is necessity they like you must to seek to love him that we share to follow his teaching and give us to see you know the manners which he has teach, taught taught us inshallah we will learn them more as well as we would like to have those 50 pages the manners the list of those manners uh, made in one booklet and then provide it to you as well inshallah thank you very much i have heard a lot of people question the authenticity of, of this book a lot of scholars are question is authenticity like it can't be traced back to um the boss was yes as far as the writing is concerned yes but uh, that was not the norm of the boss lazim shah said that the jinani did not write the books he used to teach and speak and during the speech the, the the students used to write down things what he used to speak and then compile them and uh, put them in the book form and uh, as far as that is concerned that is proven and seen the whole lazim said that he had a lot of spoke about these issues and there are many references as well which he has spoken about the mazhab of sayyidina imam ahmad bin hanbal radiyallahu ta'ala and he has given reference and his fatwas are mentioned as well and many fatwas which he has given and uh, uh, the authenticity of them is proven as far as the verbal verbal form of the of the, the, the spoken form of the book is concerned a writing yes uh, 
it might not be his writing. But he spoke and the students compiled it and uh, wrote it uh, later on or in his time. He might not have opportunity to look at it again, the, the whole, uh, uh, the, what is called, uh, script of it, uh, when it was compiled and written. But there is no doubt that uh, the overall book is the actually thoughts of Sayyidina Shaykh Abdul Qadir One of the things which he has mentioned in the manners is that no faqih or no scholar is allowed to force anybody uh, or to be uh, compelling uh, about the Muslims to follow one of the mazhabs, his own mazhab. So for example, if somebody married to someone without the permission of the guardian uh, of the lady and uh, the Hanafi, uh, the, according to Hanafi, and he is Hanafi, Hanafi mother, or the lady married to somebody without getting the permission of her uh, parents. And uh, uh, Shafi's and Hanbalis are not allowed to force her uh, to look at this uh, situation and they can say, oh, you are against Quran and so And there are people, they pass fatwas without any, any, anything in our, in our time.